Hello everybody, this is Scott, and today we'll be reviewing the Soft Orbits Batch Picture Resizer, which is a simple program that is meant to help resize images to a more usable size, such as on websites where your images, when you show certain images at certain points, so for instance, if I have a 300 by 250 image, but the thumbnail that I'm showing is only 100 by 100, I want to show that 100 by 100 to save space. So a program like this is freaking perfect for webmasters because you can do a ton of them at the same time. So we're going to go to my desktop. And as we can see, this this photo is pretty big. And I want to resize it. That's that's pretty gigantic. We don't want it to be that big. We're going to do, I want to do a 300 by 250. And do smart cropping and there you go watermarks I can even add a watermark here you want if you need anything else you can use their other software which they kind of do right here which is another plugin from the company but it's kind of nice that they come with a free watermark adder with this program it is a little bit more expensive than the actual like picture protector program, but you and you can only do it one per thing. So here we go. We're gonna actually start this and see what happens. Oh my god. This PC. There you go, it's on the desktop. And here we go. And rename. Here we go. And 300 by 250. Cropped off the extra pieces, and that actually looks pretty good. And it was this size, and now it's this size. That's exactly what this image would be if it was that size. And you're going to say, well, it doesn't look as good if I was to redo it. Of course not. It crops off the extras and, shrink and shrinks what it can. It's what it's supposed to do, man. It crops off the excess stuff. And you could try and shrink it with HTML, man. But when you, when you try to shrink with HTML, the problem is it's going to come out looking like crap because that's not the actual size of the image. And the reason is I'm taking all the pixels of the image and trying to smoosh them down together to get the same image. Just, that doesn't work. doesn't look good either. So thank you very much for watching. Please stay tuned for the video. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns relating to software, put them in the comments below and I will try to answer them. Thank you very much for watching and goodbye.